from batsby.blogspot.co.uk Basket Case do you remember back in the 60s when the cost and contents of the average household's weekly shopping basket was a regular feature of the evening news? Silly me, of course you don't, you lithe young things you. <laughs> Actually, the shopping basket as an illustration of retail prices in the UK dates back to 1947, when a typical haul contained such everyday items as loose tea, lard, wild rabbit, ox liver, and mutton. Times have changed, and it's interesting to see what would nowadays be deemed the typical basket. Aside from the relative prices compared to yesteryear, the comparison reveals so much about the country's living habits, and the national basket reflects the cumulative choices of its individuals. In the 90s and into the early part of this century, there was a frisson of excitement amongst the unattached about singles nights at supermarkets up and down the country. Some of them actually encouraged the idea of meeting your new partner and taking her up the aisle, so to speak. Your shopping basket, goes the theory, reveals so much about you as an exhaustive CV of your romantic experiences. What better way to choose a match? And so began the awkward formalization of a tradition long indulged in by the single males of Britain, stalking an unsuspecting female up and down the rows of symbolic fresh meat. A <coughs> friend of mine, emboldened by a few pints after work, was temporarily patrolling a branch of Morrison's on Wehey Wednesday, or was it titillating Tuesday, when I, uh, I, uh, I mean he, spied a lone shopper with a half full basket of produce. He discreetly followed for about 20 minutes, careful to remain out of sight. She continued shopping as slowly as possible, coquettishly checking from time to time that she hadn't lost her tracker to a temptress, toting tortellini and frequently backtracking so that he, in his confused state, drew the conclusion that she was in fact following him. Eventually, she, certain she was indeed the subject of his curiosity, made her way to the checkout and proceeded to place on the conveyor belt, in as come-hither a manner as possible, a litre of low-fat milk, a whole camembert, a half a dozen eggs, cornflakes, coffee, a rather nice poulet fousse, some chicken fillets, and a small box of Belgian chocolates. My friend... <coughs> sidled up behind her and began to place his own shopping on the belt. As he emptied his basket, he looked over her purchases and said, I'm guessing you're single. She was a little taken aback by his direct approach, but was intrigued as to exactly how her purchases had so easily given away her status. She perused the eight items looking for clues, but saw nothing she would have immediately associated exclusively with the lifestyle of a singleton. Uh, yes, in fact I am, but how on earth did you deduce that? My drunken friend, lips loosened by the booze, replied, Because you're fat. 